and welcome back smsu fans we got league of legends playoffs on right away tonight smsu drafting a really aggressive i would say earlier game composition mm -hmm. with the renekton lee sin very early game top side focus but renekton has been buffed for a little bit better late game as well mm -hmm. and this udir getting a lot of info now knowing that four of them are invading Yep, SMSU probably just going to look for an aggressive ward here, figure out where the jungler is going to start. <coughs> yep. They're using the Varus to scout on the other side to make sure no info is given across. Now we're seeing something a little bit different bot lane now. Guy Phil playing Varus and Krillik playing Rel. Um, they do play these champs, but we usually see them on that Sona uh, Seraphine uh, build. So. Yeah, as of late, for sure. Yep. But I can see why they didn't go for it this game. There's a lot of tanky characters coming out. Exactly. And you can definitely suffer from lower damage on those characters um, when those tanks come out late game. And Mario Kai is really strong in the bot lane. And if you have those two characters, survivability is uh, very low. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I do like the picks coming out from SMSU so far. We have Lee Sin. Uh, someone he's uh, weak side ottoman's very comfortable with. We see him pop off anytime he plays Lee Sin. So yeah, hopefully Aximusio hoping to see another pop off from it in yep. this game. And uh, devoted on Huey, plays a lot of way. Very used to that character too. Mm -hmm. Um, so I think SMSU. It's gonna it's gonna be a good game. It's gonna be a good game. For you sure. This Cassante or Necton matchup. I'm not sure how this goes, especially with the new patch. Um, Cassante got some decent changes during that patch. Yeah, I think he's still a tank killer. And Renekton doesn't really build tank. If I remember yeah, correctly. he builds like a deep bruiser. Yeah. I mean, he's kind of a tank. Yeah, pretty naturally tanky as uh, Renekton. Renekton, yeah, but... Not as much as what Consante probably wants. Yeah, it's a little hard to say, I think. Yeah, I, I think it, it could go be either a way. Matchup too, yeah. yeah. I think whoever gets a first kill is gonna dominate. Up there. Alright, SMSU pushing. Oh, Lisa. Oh, Lisa here. Invade into the Udyr steals the blue buff. Is he going to be able yeah. to get away? Renekton's coming down maybe from the dash. He oh, is he's going to flash. have to flash, but... Gets to the blue. Does get the blue buff. It does force this Cassante off wave when it's a huge crash. Mm -hmm. This is a big deal. Yep. Oh, maybe a taking a team fight, fight here, here now. Could be really big for us. Getting Smith flash here. from Diana. Oh, oh Diana. So low. Diana gets first blood. Yep. And now SMS is in a scramble. Might lose this fight. There's so much damage. Yeah, Huey's still doing a lot of damage still. But that huge wave did bounce off turret. 13 to 5 in the CS department. Mm -hmm. Nyfell gets knocked back here. A lot of damage going on to the Maokai. Vayne oh, flashing in. Oh, Vayne. SMSU not quite able to pick up either kill. Well, no, Krillik did kill. Um, oh, he did. Okay. Yeah, he did kill Maokai. That's a big deal, but the Vayne living and being able to CS and push up this wave. Yup. Very big deal. I didn't even realize Diana was mid. I'm just so used to seeing her in jungle. But yeah, pretty good. Uh, I can't tell. You know, the first blood does go over. Lee Sin drops. Obviously, that's great mm -hmm. for Diana. But a big deal, the fact that ooh, Lee Sin. Ooh, wow, oh. that was smooth. And now rail two and zero. Oh. And. Honestly, I think SMSU, even though they're down in gold, I think they are winning this game right now because this Renekton should have gotten such a big advantage. On yeah, the look Kassante. at the CS. Yeah. 10 to 23. Well, and it's not only just the CS. It's He wasn't in XP range for any of that CS mm -hmm. bouncing up turret. Mm -hmm. Had to go help off the team and had to just, it, he had to leave the XP and the CS and everything behind. Yep, and this wave didn't get shoved into turret, so mm -hmm. Gaia Fail should be able to clean this up and get a good amount of experience here. Yeah, Maokai's back. Mid lane's pretty even right now also. Despite Varus dying, he's still up eight. And CS, so that's 
Yeah, it's very, very nice. And he has a huge wave here. Yeah, if he can and perfectly he's being protected CS this. by Rel, or, yeah, Rel yep. and Lisa in here, so they shouldn't be able to dive during this. Manic tonight is a level up. Wave is coming into yeah, him. Yeah, a level up with the wave. So let's see what Renekton is at for experience here because... Um, oh, he that. just hit five, and yeah, so does Yeah, but he has a wave. Yeah, Kassante just hit five, too, so... Bigger wave coming into him. So he should be yep. about a quarter level up on the Kassante. Oh, it looks like SMS2 going for a gank in the bot lane. Yeah, maybe getting Mars Vayne. Oh, yep, there we go. Mars just back off Vayne. now. Very big deal. The deer is going to do void grabs, but SMSU. Going to get dragged. They're for. probably going to go dragon right away here. Leeson losing the CS matchup right now, but Udyr is really strong with clearing jungle yeah. uh, minion of camps. So. That also has to come down to Leeson dying uh, yeah. and going for more ganks. Ooh, this is a close one. Yeah, pretty decent trade for Renekton. He hit six here. I don't know if Cassante oh, was ready for that. Oh, yeah, I don't think he was either. But the dash comes up just in time. That's still good for Renekton if he just gets him, zones him off this wave. I don't think he's going to be able to. I think Cassante is healthy enough to see us yeah. on the turret. I actually think that's a, a little bit of a misplay from Renekton. I think he should have waited for his E to be up to go for it. Maybe. Uh, I think this gets balanced now. Cassante's going to push this wave out and then back. And Who stops the back on Maoka? Yeah, and Maoka low on mana is a big deal here. SMSU, are they ready for this gank that's coming into bot side, though? Ooh. They do see it they on a ward. Yeah. Diana goes in trying to do a little bit of damage Ooh. to the play here. Misses the Q on Diana means she can't continue that combo. It's about an even trade there, mid. Wait is almost oom um, though. Yep, get low on mana, so. but likely gonna kind of shove the wave out and look for it back. Yep. Diana goes for a deep pink ward here. Yep. Leeson is top right now too, so. Yeah, it's definitely a good value ward. SMSU trying to get a pink ward up of their own, clearing out that bot side bank. Manicton's halfway to his ult. Oh, more than half actually, but. And going for a little bit of a trade. Oh, here Lee comes Sin weak side. Top. Yeah, he's going to have to all, all the dashes here. Are oh, I don't. Okay. At least it's he gets out. Damage, but but I, said, I don't agree with diving him there. <laughs> but he gets out. Maybe he knew he was going to be backing anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, but I say he. Putting pressure on the Cassante, though, does like make this Renekton a lot scarier. Yeah. But I say Cassante does a little damage oh. in his Ooh. Udir now, yep. Udir also does a lot of damage just in general. Yeah. Very strong character. Yep. I don't like his rework. <laughs> old old Udir oh, was pretty fun. Tiana is gonna find Oh with this pink ward that she said earlier. Yeah. There should be the root. Hawaii trying to get away here. Here comes the flash out uh, from Diana and the kill. Yeah. Hate to see that. Now he is going to notice where that pink board was, and you yeah. should be aware of that situation. I mean, it's in a full rage. Maybe, yeah, Kasanti's going to back off. In recall. Balin now just hitting six now. It's always nice. Actually, Vayne is still level five. Yeah, uh, SMSU's had a big advantage on this Vayne in bottom. Yeah. Here oh, comes the a uh, huge all gonna, oh, gonna get there's the other flash. gonna get another all two oh my god Vayne taken down very low but that's not bad for SMSU they'll trade their alts they got a lot of summoner spells yep gonna get some CS now no, they didn't pull any of their own yep and Vayne's got a back they should be able to get some plates they might want to start looking for a rel back timing as well nope. yeah gonna go ahead and back for these void grubs SMSU playing. This pick board's still a there. So they know way. The way it is. And here are the void grubs yep. being started. SMSU, they're bringing Rel in case a fight does break out. SMSU in a very tricky predicament now. Diana here comes Diana going in. a very good spot. 
Devoted, taken very oh, low. Oh, okay, Diana's low though. Lee Sin low as yep, well. There though. goes Lee Sin one. does flash over. Rel should be getting there soon. Here comes goes Lee Sin back jumping in back here. in, and here's the Rel. Here to try to stop with the Ooh, they do I think SMSU. They did lose all of the Void Grubs there. That. Yeah, they yeah. only got one of the Void Grubs. They needed two. Yep. That could have a large impact as this game continues on. SMSU do maintain a gold advantage, however. Yeah, just barely. But, yep. There's Cassante teleporting back into the top lane. Mm -hmm. SMSU might be setting up for this dragon. SMSU going to clear out these wards bottom. And this paint ward that Diana plays is still there. Yeah, I don't know if SMSU are just avoiding it, if they just didn't see it when the gank happened. I am convinced Hui saw that. He had to have, right? Yeah. He like walked past it. Why would he... Because in my head, I'd be like, why did Diana walk up that far? If, yeah. For no reason, seemingly. She definitely had a ward there, and he definitely walked into the bush and saw it. I don't think it got pinged, maybe. Because I think you have to do something. Even if you saw it, I think you have to do yeah, something. Yeah, you have to ping. Yeah. You have to show for two minutes. Yeah, going a lot in. of damage there on the Diana. Yeah, I think it's starting to become a difficult lane for Hui. Does she have first strike? I can't. Um. Oh no, she has electrocute. No, she. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, dude, I think first strike would have been better for Diana, but electrocute uh, still most stronger. Most of the time, she does a uh, three-hit combo. Well, yeah, that is true. You know, your Q, dash, auto. Ooh, SMSU doing this. Quay is half HP. I think they know their Ernectin is on the way here, and they're looking at forcing this. Yeah, Acrylic taking away. very low, though. Gonna get two, I think. SMSU, they are yep. winning this fight. They get three, they get, get four. four and, and they're gonna get the dragon. Yeah, didn't even need Ernectin. Ernectin. Yeah, Ernectin just there in case, but... You know, great job for Asmusu. The Varus has to blow both summoners, I believe. Yeah, you but know. he's able to reposition into such a strong spot. That's big for way. He, he's going to be able to catch up now on CS. Yep, and he's going to go ahead and spend that money on a recall here. Yeah. Varus should also get another plate in bottom. And they only lose Rel, and I don't think Rel had a shutdown. No. So. It's pretty huge. Here comes Myokai. Yeah, he's gonna wanna. 3,000 gold advantage for SMSU, though. What is that? What is the little Myokai thing? He's using Sweeper. No, his uh, his little minion. Sapling? Is that what it's called? Yeah. Go. Mannington getting. Very nice play. Played. 125 extra money is a very big deal. Yeah, man. That's a uh, 6 CS. I wish I had 125 money. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I would gladly take 125 monies. Yep. Just from hitting a plate, too. Exactly how he did it. Yep. So, <laughs> SMSU looks like they're going to try to reset the map here a little bit. They know the next yep. objective is going to be this uh, Rift Herald. Take my team wants to do it, too. So, everyone's on board. Rel here early. Yep. Just Let's setting up wards, wards. Sweeping. But Rift Herald is now spawned SMSU. Yep. They're bringing their jungler over. Looks like they're going to be starting this on spawn with Renekton pushing in wave. Varus is going to sideline. The Maokai is coming up, so we're likely going to have a team fight around this. Mm -hmm. Here comes Diana and Udir. If I correctly, Udir is, all, is like the team that goes forward, right? Um, doesn't that. he just have four stances? Yeah. He doesn't really have an ult. Um. Oh my! Oh, that's a lot of damage. Yeah. Losing out big on this one. Lee Sin goes back in, does pick up a kill, but he's going to die for it. Sinet with his ult doing a butt ton of damage. Yeah, Cassante just all over the way as well. Yeah. Smithy loses out pretty big there. Did I say Cassante? You don't even remember. That's good. But yes, Cassante, huge ult in that in that fight. Getting 
I think he hit all four with it. Yeah, I think he did. Um, so. It's a little bit of an awkward fight start for SMSU. Yeah. Ooh! Ooh. And then the fadeaway. Vane tries to challenge Guy of Fail. And he shows her what is going on. Yeah. Ooh, looks like we're having some stream issues. I'm going to try to fix it. Let's see if getting out of our medium quarter will help here. Hopefully it will. There goes uh, the bot's turret. Varus is going to back now. Uh, please let us know if that fixes the issue. Drake is up in minute a minute 30. 20, minute 25. I was about to say five seconds. I was looking at blue. <laughs> Sante kind of big now after he yeah he got a lot of got money three got three kills. I think he was own one going into that. What is the button? What is the button indeed? Indubitably. I thought it was there. It is. Actually, still down money on Renekton overall. Mm. Still doing a lot more damage than him, though. Pretty even on the jungler side. Mid's down quite yeah, a bit. Yeah, 2k. That's almost... That's almost... But oh, I don't... bottom 3,000 oh. net worth. Yeah, that kind of makes up for it, that Varus. Yeah. Very nice. SMSU. They're going to want to play around the var Varus now and make Where sure is he stays safe. Where is going? Oh, I guess he was warden. That makes sense. And a lot of damage coming under this Maokai. Maokai taking Ooh, out. Oh, yeah, taking out Maokai. Rift Herald going mid. SMSU probably going to go try to clear that out. Yeah. He is likely going to take the mid turret here. I don't think take it. It's pretty going to get pretty low. Yeah, he's going to take it. It's going to be low, but it, I don't think he was going to take that ever. Ooh, misses the Q stack. Just, SMSU going just ahead, like the starting this dragon, making sure they get scuttle as well. They know, they know Diana's here. Varus is both summoners up again. Last time he had both summoners up, he made a massive play on the map. Yeah. Place teleporting back in. SMSU do oh, get the dragon. Okay. A little bit they, awkward with smite. SMSU yeah. guy fail, taking real low, but able yeah. to kite out the Diana just long enough. And he oh, kites out it the gets the Udyr now. Vayne is left alone in. Wow. Good Very team nice. fight there. Uh, meanwhile, the top lane is, is duking at yeah, it too. A large brawl going on in the top lane. Right and he gets him! That one. The Maokai comes back for more. SMSU trying to finish this one. They get yep. the flash. And SMSU win big on that dragon play. I bet Soul's Infernal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're gonna confuse people at home. You I don't understand why my it humor. Be infernal. Um. No, they they watch us every week. They should know. Yeah, every week they're at every home week. They should just know the joke. I do see that we are still having some stream issues. After this game, we'll try to restart the stream. Yep. The computer and see if we can fix those issues. Apologies. Uh, for those at home, the recording will be out if you do want to rewatch it. Um, hopefully, I know I will be. So week. it's always fun to rewatch. Oh, Ooh, huge! All hitting this Diana! Is, wow, yeah. and just erased her from the plane of existence. That's tough. Yeah, he's doing a ton of damage on the bars right uh, now. He almost has his third item, I think. Yep. So and there is mid turret going down. Yep. Udir getting forced off his jungle camps. Here comes SMSU bringing a lot of pressure towards this top lane. Not quite there in time for no. the dive. How do you how do you say this man's name? I, I keep this? saying Kai Sen Kassante. Kassante. Not Kai Sanat. That's an influencer. That's a, yeah, that's a streamer. <laughs> that's Kassante. I don't know. I can never say oh, his name right now. Oh, but. I think he missed. Uh, misclicked the Bork and a creep there. I think yeah. if that lands on the vein, he might be able Vane's, to dive that. And actually, the job shutting down this vein. Vein is a very hard person to shut down because she's very. Uh, 
I think vein lanes go one or two ways. You either are immensely ahead and the game's over, or you're immensely behind and then the game's kind of over. over. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Good job. Yeah. Bot lane shutting her down. Yeah, um, I'm just, yeah, I, I think it's about a 50 50. Vayne doesn't have a lot of go even lanes. Yep. Because of her short range, she's kind of forced to, like, these engagements where she gets poked out. Doesn't her ult, like, increase her range? Uh, I don't believe it. It might give her a small range increase, but mostly it just gives her flat damage, and when she tumbles, she goes invisible. Imagine Vayne ult with. Oh, he's no, got it. Oh, here Forest. comes. Oh, Forest does God, win that, fail. but the Maokai. Oh, oh my God, just, just the the Maokai all just was out of range of him. I've actually never seen that before. Wow. I wonder if he's gonna try to pick up a little bit more of a, a tank item now on the Varus, just to, because he has such a damage item lead. Yep. That the only thing. He did get his good item too, by the way. Yeah. It's, um. I think it's a new There's one. There's a teamfight without the forest or yeah, the way here. This SMSU might... got to be a little careful. They do pick up the vein, vein. of their ult here. That's the here. SMSU, wow, they're just oh, utilizing these advantages. Here comes the ult now. Not a, as big as an ult as the one before. No, I mean, he no can ult again. I don't think it matters. Uh, no. SMSU, even down a player. I don't know. Anytime I play Kassante, I just smash my head against the keyboard and hope it works. And half the time it does, half yep. the time it somewhat does. It's one right. of those characters. SMSU trying to go for maybe a little bit of an early finish. What's, here? What is that bow? They're going to go off and get Dragon. Which one? The that Varus has, if you can take uh, Terminus, yeah. I believe that's a new, right? Yep, brand new. Alternate um, between light and dark hits. One's armor oh. and magic resist, the other one's armor okay. pen and magic pen. That's yeah. decent, especially if you can get a couple auto attacks in before mm -hmm. this. Deanna gets to engage. I mean, even getting 10, 14, you know, t two procs on the light, mm -hmm. That uh, that's a very big deal for uh, living in these fights. It's very good for Yasuo, too, surprisingly. SMSU oh. kiting out now and seeing that they're looking for an engage here. I... Play is around this oh, dragon. Oh man, please tell me you guys know. Oh, they okay, know. Okay, SMSU, they, they know. get some information there with the Varus Q. That's a very big oh, deal. Oh, Varus Q is on cooldown. Renekton oh. teleporting in very aggressively. They're oh, gonna go ahead and they're going to have to. Yep. They're but gonna have to come up he's so tanky, it doesn't matter. SMSU should get dragon now for free. Yep. Honestly. Oh, are they still going to look for this oh. fight? He's taking the Maokai. Oh, he's getting a large heal. Taking a lot of damage. Yeah, Vayne's gets dropped. the vein. Gets has to TP oh, away now. SMSU. They should be fine. They should win this fight. Oh, he Renekton's still alive. Now I'm going after. Yeah. After this, uh, I keep trying to abbreviate his name. It's just Cassante, Jade. Cassante. <laughs> I keep wanting call to call him like Sante or something, and it keeps messing me up. But yeah. Good team fight there, good drag. Get gets oh, the very soul. Nice control from SMSU. Probably the best soul in the game. Um Yeah, especially if you're looking at like raw damage numbers. Yeah. Uh, Infernal's obviously the highest, but then like it feels like the everybody benefits from Infernal, where like some of the other souls it's like a tank benefits a lot, but you don't have all tanks on your team, so yeah. pretty much that. everybody wants to be doing damage, so look at that attack speed from Varus. Yeah, it's very nice. <laughs> he wants to kite out the fight at the beginning here and just get yeah. a couple stacks with that light and dark. Oh, and, and wow, then wow. you gotta pops. Yeah. Cassante now does get a nice alt, but it doesn't matter at this point. I don't point. Even think he ulted. No, he didn't ult. Oh he didn't. Yeah, they they they, they he has to have a certain amount of HP to ult, I'm pretty sure, and they... Honestly, if I'm being honest, I don't really know that much about Kassante. Yeah, <laughs> so I like think... He uses his ult because of his, the line thing. His, I he sacrifices some of his health to reset his abilities and do more damage with his uh, abilities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if he has too little of HP, he can't sacrifice yeah, yeah. his HP. And that's miss you pick up two and hips. They're going to go ahead and back, though. They're taking the smart decision. I like this call from SMSU. No. No need to, like, overplay your hand. We have a lot of money. I bet we're going to see full items or most. Look at that. Two components coming out on the Varus. Yeah, that Varus is so big right now. Yeah, pickaxe and recurve. That's a lot of money spent. 
Can we press that button again? I want to see the differences. Oh yeah, yeah. For the money. Thirteen thousand to six thousand five hundred. Way was down in CS like by 2K when last time we checked. Yeah. And now, and he's, now up. he's up. A lot of these team fights, living through these team fights is a very big deal. Yes. You uh, love to see that. Everyone at SMSU benefiting from the recent. How team is fights. Vang low from minions? How is she so low? Yeah. She's gotten two kills and she's died. No, I'm talking about. She also doesn't have very many minions. I'm talking about um. Oh, is she tanking life. minions? HP. Yeah. I think, I think the super graves <laughs> just rack her. I, yeah, you would think my okay would help with that. <laughs> SMSU but. setting a little bit of a trap here, top by the looks of it. Uh, taking blue. Oh, they do come off and cut the wave. Mm. Now their wave should push in. It's one thing uh, if you don't know if you, instead of walking all the way back and killing the wave up here, you usually just kill the next one and then your mm -hmm. wave when it groups with the new wave should push in it's good advice for you uh newbies out there um i didn't even know that so i would have just went back yeah i mean it just it depends on the situation obviously but cutting waves can uh save you a lot of yeah. movement around the map and it allows you to stay a little bit more grouped vein is still split pushing walking back i mean she's not that impactful <laughs> she's not that impactful and yeah. somebody needs to deal with these super creeps yeah and she's she's gonna get executed by them. SMSU backing off. They're gonna go Baron. Okay, I also another decision. SMSU is making a lot of good macro decisions this game. Mm. Did she just pop Ghost? No. She was moving really fast. Nope. I don't think any Ghost that used. No. Nope. Yeah. Good decision. All three waves pushed in. Yep. It just yep. a lot of pressure. Secure. A lot of pressure. You know, they're not giving up much gold by walking back there. It's not like a large item is going to get completed out of nowhere. And they're still trying to five stack this top lane. No, I think this is the right call. Really? I, I think mid, maybe. I don't know. Well, there's no inhibitor mid. This is the last inhib. I guess if you want to just get inhibs. I'm talking about if you want to win the game. Yeah, events. if you want to get win the game, you take the inhibitors. I guess. Oh, we just go mid and in. SMSU doing a lot of damage here. Yeah, someone was taking turret there for a little bit. Oh, rest oh, in peace, Vayne. Vayne's dead. And that, that's the disappointing part of all falling behind that Vayne. You don't end up with the survivability you need. Guy of Fail yeah. showing us today. Why he plays ADC? class on the forest. Yeah. Very nice to see. Uh, I know they're talking a little bit about what build to run on the forest. Mm -hmm. He was really good determined that it was the on hit build and i think he was right because <laughs> that was a uh yeah that's a shellacking In. right there all right welcome back smsu to game two of league of legends uh playoffs oh wow, another aggressive uh invade here this yeah smsu looking very aggressive in these invades early it's very Interesting. I really like this though. Seeing the jungler start can be a massive deal. It can give you a lot of information early in ganking patterns and that type of thing. <laughs> I did not. Sorry just hit for that sounding like somebody just took a tumble down a staircase. It, I did not just hit myself with the headset. It did not just happen. All right. We are so back. Bot lane was seeing uh, the MVP of last game, Guy Phil, on uh, Kaiza. Yep, on the Kaiza this time. And I don't think Kaiza's very good in the meta. I think her, there's a different build that people are running. Mm. A lot more just poke. It's, um, forget the exact build. It's like Mermana into the one of the AP items that mm -hmm. does damage on hit. And if you're connecting them, um, it resets the W cooldown. To like four seconds and it does like 1200 damage per hit wow that's a lot yeah it uh engaged here from kind of highlight people um and then click on on uh the nautilus nautilus i was i was gonna i i i was not gonna call him nautilus <laughs> mm -hmm. i was blanking on his name uh they let the lease and go yeah, they let the lease in and the way through yeah i kind of makes sense banned. honestly because I'm not going to say he played bad, but he... No, the Deanna definitely he, had pressure on him. Yeah, Deanna did have more pressure on him 
But it's still one of his top played characters and he's really good with him, so a little surprising to see both of those go through. I, I don't know if anything got banned. Um, but we see Aatrox coming out on pajamas and he plays uh, Aatrox a lot. Yeah, so, so pretty different setup coming out from yeah. uh, the opponents, all five new characters. Yeah. Oh, is a Mumu support normal? Uh, it's not uncommon anymore. Ever okay. since they gave us Q2 charges. Oh, that would make sense. It's been a while now, I want to say, that that's been in the game. Okay. Yeah, that was a while ago when they added the yeah, two pretty charges. Pretty much ever since then, he's been an okay support. I actually think he's more common in the support role than jungle right now. Mm -hmm. uh, because he can just be punished in the jungle a little bit more. You know, I've, I've never seen that. Especially with Twitch. Yeah, I mean, Twitch is just not the most popular AD carry. Yeah. Um, I do know he plays AD carry, though. <laughs> yeah. That's the difference. And Jin Zhao. Um, yeah, looking for early invade yeah. into Lee Sin's territory, but there's no camps up down there. Yeah. Actually, there's no camps on the map available to anyone. Yeah. That, Lee Sin's currently doing I've the last one. I actually don't know if I've ever seen that before. Yeah. yeah. That is kind of funny. <laughs> and it didn't even respawn for a while, really. That The Grom's just about to go up now. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, he canceled his auto. Why is he? Oh, he is down CS on this in Shogath. Yeah. I think he's been going a little too aggressive trying mm -hmm. to deny, and it's uh, hurt his ability to get blasted. It's kind of what you need to do on Aatrox, right? Uh, if you're no, playing you Cho. should be able to just out CS him as well. Mm -hmm. it, it is kind of an awkward matchup at the beginning levels, but yeah. he will eventually scale to where Cho shouldn't be able to deal with him. Cho'Gath has no good skins. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's, it's okay. Totally not Cho'Gath is pretty good though. I'm yeah, Gentleman Cho. A gentleman Cho is pretty good, but. His newer skins are kind of bad. That's one of his newer skins. Ge yeah. Wait, Gentleman Joe's one of his newer skins? No, no, the, the, the one he's currently rocking. Oh. This is the away. prehistoric one, right? No? Uh, I'm going to believe you on that because I honestly don't know. I know they put like a whole city on his back, though. I don't know if it says. I don't think it'll say. No, it definitely does. I think the only character in this game that tells you this skin is Kane. Okay. Because uh, they kind of have to. Um, Why do they have to? So the enemy knows what... Um, if you go in red or blue, just from the icon. Yeah, but that doesn't tell you what skin he has on. That just tells you what form he has in. Yeah. Void Grub's done yeah. very early. Lee said he's getting uh, invaded. Oh, was Don't. not paying attention, I think. Oh, he dashed to himself. He's actually probably going to die here. Oh, oh, maybe not. The Aatrox comes over. Oh, and first, blood. first blood. Oh, that's such a big deal. He loved to see it. Did he have a ward available? Uh, yes. Yes, he did. Yeah, it surprises me. He dashed to himself for the shield. You could also look right there, too. Where is it? If you look at Lee Sin at the scoreboard. At the scoreboard. Oh, at the scoreboard. Yeah, I didn't even think to look at the scoreboard. I was looking up the icon. I'm yeah. like, what? I, I'm <laughs> looking. I don't not see it. It's all good. It's all good. But yeah, I, I, it was really dangerous to not uh, ward dash yeah, there. I think he was recalling and just like looked at his yeah, phone or something. Yeah, I think he just panicked for sure. <laughs> and then like didn't know what oh, to do. Oh, Nautilus coming bottom here. Yeah. I mean, it's just out. a lot of damage. Oh, yeah. On the Nautilus. On the, yep. Not the biggest deal because yeah, a lot of damage was traded by Guy of Fail. I don't know who killed him actually. Lee Sin is here. Are they gonna go for this? Uh, it I looks would, like they're gonna back off now. I would just give that to them. Let. I mean, it is just the Nautilus. Um, and he did he's greeting for this kill. Oh, this is this is a bad mistake. Oh, why are we doing this? Yeah, that is a big deal. He's not worth anything, so I don't know why. Yeah, it was, I agree. It's not worth the risk. It doesn't really do much going the... And you just let Jin Sao scale a lot harder. Because he gets the kill there. Hmm. Uh, 
I suppose you do have the advantage of having Void Grubs, though, taken cleanly with no Dragon traded on the other side. No. Drake is up. I'm surprised we haven't, since that Lee Sin died, I'm surprised they didn't call it. I don't think they could do it uh, because the bot line was so low. Uh, Lulu is like dead, remember? That's why Lee Sin went for yeah, the play. Yeah, but Twitch was full health. And yeah, but they... Twitch isn't doing very much damage, and Zen was like half. I, I, he's like a quarter. I thought, I thought Lee Sin went in on Zen when. I thought Zen can basically solo it. Not that low HP. Oh. If anyone shows up, he just dies and gives Dragon over. That's the thing. I don't think anyone was going to show up. Because not all this Kaisa was dead. And Kaisa back. Whatever. This is out. Just jungling away, trying to get a CS just advantage here. jungling away is a crazy statement. Yeah, you, oh, you, here's the engage onto Nautilus. He does have flash still, I believe. And here comes SMSU onto the Twitch. They find the kill there, and if they're he on the If he has root, Lulu. there's the alt. He's going to go ahead and back off to make sure he doesn't get traded. Yeah. SMSU get a two for zero. Now looking for drag. Yep, now SMSU are going to be the ones doing drag. And, and honestly, this is going to line up with maybe Nautilus backing and going for Void Grubs here. Top lane just chilling. Yeah, CSN. a little bit of a... Aatrox got first blood, hasn't done a whole lot. Yeah, since. it's just, it's a matchup where they're both gonna, like, just push the lane for a little bit. Yep. And if one leaves, the only one kind of wins lane. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because Cho'Gath with his... Ooh, here comes away, a... Getting oh! all in by the Nico, but Nico taking a lot oh, of damage. Oh, flash is away. Flash. Now here comes out. Top. He... Onto the Lee Sin. Oh, here. dash is away from the airborne. Okay, Zin Sao is getting lost in the sauce. Now Nautilus is here. Can they CC the Nautilus long enough? Oh, oh the oh, Lee gets hit by that. No. You gotta, Nautilus to needs to back off here now. After that, Zinza yeah. hits that. Wow. Now Lee Sin falling behind a little bit. Both, yeah. That's pretty avoidable, but that one is not really expected the Q to be that long. You know, I'm going to predict this. Things in South just gonna scale too hard for SMSU. Don't say that. Well, I don't want it to happen. And I like being wrong, you know. Ice up. Trying to escape here. Does oh, not the first miss one. Oh, the first one. I oh, think, and I think he would have used the other one. Like, well, uh, he it, still has the charge. Oh, never mind. I forgot I can just look at that. Um, Nautilus, you need to be a little careful now. Now, SMSU aren't gonna get the Void Grub bonus. Yeah. Finds out doing it, but maybe Hui just weak side. Hmm. Doesn't want this fight, I don't think. Don't please stop. <laughs> and Hui is gonna get jumped on yeah. by the things out now. SMSU going for a kick, oh, doing right. a lot of damage. Trying to finish off the zip, okay. and they get it. That's yep. a big kill. For the Lee Sin, can he keep going? going? He gets the flash, yep. connects the Q, a double kill Good for Lee Sin, job. and he is back in the game. He needed to flash there because if Nico enters that bush and gets the doppelganger yep. move off, you just don't know where she's going to go. So that's a great play there after making some questionable ones from weak side. Yeah, I think the first one is a mistake. The second one, I I don't know if I would have the reaction <laughs> I, I, speed. It, was, it just <laughs> felt so random. Yeah, the way he died the second time. But now he's back in it. But yeah, that's very just how nice position to be in now. It's just how um, what's his name works. Lee Sin. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't think you wanted to fight that. Um, I think this is okay. Lee Sin's here. No, I'm talking about to Cho'Gath. Because uh, he was looking for an airborne. Yeah, I think it's a little bit a greedy to go for it because it guarantees that he, like, Just if goes in here, he's dead. Yeah. SMSU trying to kite out this Amumu. Amumu oh, hitting everything, though. Kaisa is going to die, and so is Nautilus. Amumu going to get one kill, and, yeah, and, and that uh, Twitch is going to get the other one. Amumu, just, that's why he's such a strong support. Is he so rushes boots first, too? Uh, I don't think that's normal. I think you go... And the merchants are fine. It's just also Twitch rushes normal. boots here too. They all rushed upgraded boots almost, except for Zen. Zen, because they both yeah. had um that summoner, sp not spell. It's the uh, 
whatever. Lee Sin going for a kill on this Twitch. I don't think he kills them. I think he kills. Yeah. Um, oh, he, he might. He, oh, but, okay. Oh, he might not have. I think Q. he overkilled them. <laughs> I, I just think a Mumu just kill like helps enough. But I, I don't guess think, not. Because a Mumu doesn't do any damage. Yeah. The, but the downside is the Twitch can't turn around or he dies. Yeah, I guess he didn't have all two. I guess. Yeah. Some. Hmm. So SMSU pretty happy with that up. situation. I think. Up in up. gold. Yeah, quite a bit of gold here. Let's see where that gold lies. 700 or 900 in the top lane. Leeson has a 500 gold bounty, by the way. Yeah, 800 in the jungle. Yeah. 700 in the mid. Well, almost 1, a thousand in the bottom and top. You know, the guy fell consistently finding a big lead mm -hmm. in this lane. So is the Strograph still go AP? Uh, he goes like tanky. Tank AP. now. You can go a little bit of AP, but is it kind of like Mord? Yeah. Oh. Probably even a little less AP than Mord. Especially, I mean, he went Sunfire Kid this game. Which is, I think no it's AP. fine. I'm just saying it's this matchup, but yeah. I'm su I'm surely he doesn't usually go Sunfire. And no. But with the matchup, I think it's fun. It's a little, a little awkward. I don't think I would win it. But. Depends what he goes for a second item, I guess. I just think it's awkward because Sunfire is usually built on those characters with not great pushing ability. Mm -hmm. And Chorath's pushing ability is fine. You're not needing to solve that issue. Drake is up. I think they know yeah, I he's... I think Zen is just waiting for SMSU to go They the at drag. least know he's... Oh. But SMSU decide we're just going to trade the dragon for Rift Herald. Yeah, we and have one. Yeah. So you're not going to be stacking dragons for us. And we can get Rift Herald and get some money going here. And I bet Soul's going to be whatever the next dragon is. We're going to lower is the video settings again. even further. I didn't even know you could put them on video. I don't know why our stream is dropping so many. You know, uh, League of Legends is a very tough game to run. I'm being very sarcastic, by the way. As as you go for a dive in the top lane while we are... Oh, they actually fail the dive. That's a big deal. Yeah. They have to get out now. This Nico and Zen are on their way. Nautilus gets the slow gets the across. Slow. He's going to die, but SMSU Huey oh. follows up. Doing a lot of damage to the Zen. Zen ulting. Zen looking for a kill on the Huey. Lee Sin looking uh. and maybe... No, this is... Don't. Don't. <laughs> Please. <laughs> they do lose two there, though. And Kai'Sa is under turret. Kind of... Wait. A Mumu left him. Oh, I think he could mm. all in. Oh, here it forward. comes. Yeah. Here it comes. Moomoo's has gone. He ghosts away. Yeah. Does force the summoner out, though. That's a big deal, especially in a one versus two. I really don't like. I think if he went right away, that's a kill. Yeah. I actually yeah. like it looks weird, but the Moomoo is so separated. Going in there just makes it so that the Moomoo catches up a lot more. So. Yeah, it just also gives him more room. I guess the ghost probably comes out either way, and he probably lives with... Mm -hmm. He both Flash and Ghosted, so... Kai'Sa feeling really good about that. Kai'Sa, in my opinion, doesn't make sense. She's a poke champion. She's not a poke champion. She's an all-engine champion. It's just that this the current build the is current a build poke. The current build is a, po a poke champion. You yeah. make a poke champion, so you have to alt to go in to poke. Well, you just don't really use the alt like that anymore, or with this build. So her alt is useless with this build. No, it's still good because it's still a shield. I guess if somebody you get the jumps, shield, on, yeah. he jumps on you, you just alt for the shield. Yeah, that's fair. Bye. And she's still like with this poke build, you still do good. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, oh since no. I was here though. But Wait, here's here's, here's oh, Lee Sin. Here comes but the alt getting two with the alt. Yep, there goes the moment. Oh, here comes the TP from Aatrox. Maybe try to pick up a kill here. Gets Xin Zhao Nico out of position. Yeah, Nico is separated. Really here. out of position. They don't know which one's which. They oh, figure they it out. It. Yeah, and Devoted gonna pick up. Wow, great team fight there. And here comes the Rift. The only one you lose in that fight. That's great. It's great for us. Yeah, because. Yeah. Oh, man. 
They should be able to get this bottom turret with Rift Herald. Yes. I don't even know if they needed Rift Heralds for this one. I would like them to push this wave an additional. Yeah, okay, they are. They're gonna get the charge onto the tier two. Yep. Look at that damage. Yep. That's half health on the tier two. It's they a do. Cho'Gath does finish off the top turret, but that's Aatrox still... gets a kill for yeah. it, so. Not the biggest. Eh, it's eh, it's not the biggest lost. Eh, no, it's not a big deal at all. You trade turrets and you get the three kills, so. Yep. And technically, the tier two turret has more damage against it, so. Yeah. Huge win. Up in gold, too. Um, whatever this other college is, is keeping up, though. Um, uh, Waldorf? Waldorf? Yep. That's a real college? Waldorf, yeah. Walder. Waldorf. W A L D O R F. Waldorf. There you go. Okay. Where's that at? Do you know? Um. Wait, no, that was the team that. Uh, I don't know where Waldorf is. I looked up the team that the Valorant Club played, but. Okay. I don't remember where Waldorf is. Oh, an invade possibly coming out. A collapse onto this mid lane. SMS, you've got to be a little careful here. The Nico finds the engage onto Gaia Phil. Gaia Phil taking a lot of damage. Getting the shield. Putting though. a lot of damage, though. And. Let's be taking out Guy or yeah. Weak Side Ottoman. Going to get out of here. Here comes the Aatrox, though, looking for an engage back. Onto the Twitch. Twitch taking a lot of damage. SMS uh, does finish does off that kill. The but they Twitch. lose their top laner. And now Zinn finds the engage on the Lee Sin, but Lee Sin but lives. Lee. Way finishes off another kill. Good job from Huey there. Ah, uh, that was really risky from SMSU. I don't like the. We lost a couple people, but they, and we're still gonna engage the fight. Yep. Just a little risky from my perspective. Drake is up. It's Forest City, by the way. I don't know what Forest City is. Mm -hmm. Forest City? I have no idea where that is. IA. I think. In a forest. IA. Is that Iowa? Indiana? Indiana? I would guess. Go. Now two, two Sunfire Aegises, which. Yeah. Which. Amumu got. Technically his second item. Yeah, I mean, with the. The support yeah. item, which isn't very expensive. And he, and he maxed boots first. Oh, there comes, comes an engage. Jinzhou. Very big engage there. Very tanky. Good flank here. Oh, though. here. Guy fell going in deep. Trying to finish off a kill, but he gets CC. Oh, takes a lot of damage. One. He only finishes off the support. Twitch is safe, but uh, it doesn't matter. The rest of the team fight is going so poorly. Yeah. And Aatrox, is he going to be able to run down the Twitch? I don't think so. I don't think so either. But he's uh, probably going to be able to do the tier 2 turret. Yeah. I can. We can agree on that. You know, it didn't really work out for Kaisa in that fight. It was a little awkward. Yeah. But the rest of the fight just went so well for SMSU. It doesn't really matter. Get tier 2 and drag. Yeah. So... I think that's a little worse. And for look SMSU. at this gold advantage coming out from SMSU. 7,000 gold. That's a lot of money. Hmm. And again, apologies. I don't know what's going on with the League of Legends. Client is really... She doesn't want to work with us today. Yeah. Causing problems for our stream. And I don't know any way of solving it, so... Turn down all the settings. I turned them to like zero. Yeah. I don't know. Very labor intensive. SMSU just gonna push in this bot lane probably. Didn't even realize Lee Sin is nine and two. Yeah, he's been getting Pop a lot of he's the kills off. here. So two thousand gold advantage versus the opponent here. Yeah. Kind of similar on the Aatrox here. Two thousand on mid. Thousand. Thousand four hundred on the eighty carry. That's a lot of money. Only place you're losing is support. But yeah. that's. But it doesn't even matter, really. Yeah. It's because Amumu has three kills to Nautilus' zero. 
So. SMSU trying to set up for this Baron. Mm hmm. Quay is in a weird position. I think he's gonna push this lane one one time. For the one time. Yeah, apparently not though. He's gonna oh. walk up and place the ward. Place for the one ward time. and then for the one time shove out the way. Yeah. <laughs> it is kind of an awkward timing in the game. Dragon still three minutes from up. They have the yeah. the bottom and mid turrets here. Top top lane still struggling to get that. Trogath. Pretty tanky. Oh, Zen's gonna face check Ooh. Krillic here. <laughs> He's gonna face check Krillic. Just the way you said that it was forty. How many stacks does Cho have? Can we click on him uh, and figure that out? The attempt five. charm. Five. And all from minions. And all from minions. I think it stops at like six. Six right? from minions. I yeah. want to say. So he needs to start ulting so someone. Wow, to poke that's a lot of w. damage. I see Let's what you mean see. with the poke. Yeah, what what is the Kaisa build? Yep, going for it. It's Ludin's the Ludin's companion. companion. That's yep. a new item. I think they get rid of and the other Ludin's. This Blighted Jewel. This is where it starts popping off. This Blighted, Blighted Jewel is Jewel. so much magic pen. And Mana Moon. It's not Mana Moon. It's the it's upgraded. It's Mermana went. Yeah, Mermana, it, yeah. Did, it did just finish, I want to say. Did it? I, I thought I had looked and saw it was Mana Moon still. Wasn't paying too close attention. So everyone's here. Leeson just wants to start it. Yeah, but a little look, impatient. Nico it, it wanted to walk bottom. Can't. I don't know what Nico was thinking. She doesn't have TP. So. Miss you trying to burn through this dragon while people aren't here, but I don't think they're any at done time. This is really risky for my Miss you. Ah, they just. The side. I, they need to be poking more. This is gonna be a hard engage. Yeah, coming and out. there it goes. Yep, and Baron goes over to their opponent. They get SMSU two, for the fight. three now. But Kaisa's gonna die here. SMSU gets four. Okay, they are gonna clean up the fight. Yeah. Oh. Oh, Devoted's gonna Devoted go down. Dies. Not expecting the flash from Trogoth there. And that, Not the biggest deal. Um, they don't get to use gold. Baron. It's still gold. They're still down it's, six thousand. So. Yeah. Still gold, but not the biggest deal because they can't use the effects of Baron. Yeah, and they, they should get the tier one top. They should get the tier two mid, maybe. Yeah. Did Cho ult? Did he finally get a stack on someone? Oh, he must have. Unless you accidentally ulted something else. You can't. I think you have to click on him. You can't click on him until he. Hey, yeah. But Esmus, you do clean up two turrets there. He must have ulted um, and, Quay. You know, Dragon's coming up at 44. That's going to be the next point of contention in this game. I think if SMSU loses this, then it's going to be a little awkward. I still think they're in an okay spot. Yeah, he did get a stack. He's at six. Yeah, he did. He must have been Huey. a champion. I don't. It wasn't the way because we saw what happened to Huey oh. at the end. Yeah, I thought that's when he ulted him, but no. I don't know. I we can't so, we is. can't hear him make his nom 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 songs and that's when I know. Leg is better for now. Well, I am I hope that is the case here. Leg is better for now? That's what uh, What does leg mean? Leg? Is it lagging? They're leg There's oh, no less leg. Oh, yeah. How are you a gamer and not understand these terms? I heard leg like L E G. Oh. Just the Code is getting collapsed uh, on here. SMSU, they're going to lose their mid laner, but can they find the engage on the other side of things? Do a decent amount of damage. Misses the engage for Lee. Here that comes a Lee stun now. A huge all. Oh. And a huge team yeah. fight. Ash and Ooh, They're winning it. They're yeah, doing a lot of damage. They're winning here. this. Aatrox is very big, big for them, though. Yeah, this is great for Ash It looked bad with the way yeah. the fight started, but. I think Cho. Cho alters someone and then. I can't click on it. I know. I'm just. Uh, but it's, he's also cool down. So. Well, I just wanted to see if he got a stack. I don't think he did that. I think you can click his icon actually on the bottom on the scoreboard. I I've tried oh. it a thousand times. Wait, tr click on Aatrox. I just want to see. Okay. Brandon did it last week somehow. I can click on them here. But yeah, but I can't because click on he's them on cooldown. Dead. Yeah. Hmm. And he's not cool down. He's dead. <laughs> 
<laughs> I've never heard somebody say <laughs> they're on <laughs> cooldown. <laughs> yeah, I mean he is on <laughs> cooldown. I'm not wrong. <laughs> Look at the damage it's a this does. term, I guess. I don't know. H locks. Almost said the thing I'm not supposed to say anymore. <laughs> um, he's pushing the bottom, though. Yep, trying Pass to keep this lane pushed in. Since I was all over the map, he was just bot, came up here, wreaking havoc, taking names. Nice to miss you. Playing it smart right now. Atrox hopefully backing off here. <laughs> oh, this is maybe that. not. Maybe finding a kill on the. Oh my gosh. I don't so even think since I'll beat Atrox. Okay, maybe with the Mumu he does, but. <laughs> Profane Hydra. That does a lot of damage. Yeah. It's 500 physical and damage. You to go people below 50. You go that like one of your first items now because they nerf Sunfire. Not Sunfire. Um, Sunned Sky. Whatever the item he has next yeah. to that. Yeah, Sun and Sky. They nerfed it. I think that was today they nerfed it. So you, I think you want to go that first item first. Oh, Cho is tanky. Is so tanky. As long as he had a bot. But uh, Nico Alt doesn't really do that much. I mean, he does damage, but it doesn't finish anyone off. Oh, with the fadeaway devoted. Very nice. SMSU found a great engage. This might actually turn into yeah. the game. This. this is great for SMSU. Everybody's still so healthy. Only Nautilus dies in because yeah, he was tanking. I think this is going to be game. I think so, too. I think all of a sudden... Oh, I feel like he barely lived. And that could have been the difference maker. I think if a minion coughs on him, he's dead. Yeah, but I don't think it matters now because... Uh, They're just ending. There's no one to fight. Everyone's saying GG. Yeah. That's wow. going to do it. First SMSU. playoff game. Wow, that Nexus looks really bad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and remember that there is a week-long break uh, for spring break for NECC and NACE. Mm -hmm. So we have Overwatch on Thursday. That's mall? On Thursday, yeah. yes. Okay, just making sure. Uh, Rocket League on Friday, but then we have a full week off. Yeah. Um, so definitely join us for that Overwatch and Rocket League game. Those are also both playoff games coming up here so yep. smsu league of legends gonna move on to the semifinals. it's w and they're gonna see what they can do in a couple weeks all right